Hi guys, how's it going? My name's Helena. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my official first light with the QHY260AM. The Pelican Nebula that I documented in my previous video wasn't actually the first image I took with the camera. Cygnus Wall was the first official target I slowed over to and started imaging. I'm going to be showing you bits and bobs from the imaging session and also jump into PixInsight and show you how I went around processing the final colour photo. Spoiler alert, I didn't really film a lot outside. I really just wanted to enjoy the time I had under the stars looking at these subs coming in on my computer but that's exactly the reason why I'm making this video today. Future Helena, I really hope you're editing this night into a storm <laughs> because I have done zero filming for you to work with in the morning which you're going to be so pleased with. Um, but I'm taking my first mono exposures right now. I'm I'm so excited. I'm almost too excited to document it. The EQ6R Pro is guiding wonderfully. We've got an error of 0 0.3 right now. Now, this is a little note to some people. If you've left your mount sat for a little while, mounts don't like being sat because the grease on the gears kind of settles to the bottom. And what you want to do to kind of resolve this is take it out for a couple of nights and just let it track and that can kind of re-grease the gears and as the night's gone on the guiding's just got better and better so don't worry if you've left your mounts at just make sure you've got it set up to track on an object for a little while and get those gears re-greased oh i can't speak so this is my hydrogen alpha data that i caught of the cygnus wall and then Julian over at Crazed Conceptions on Instagram, please, 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 please go and check out his work. He's fantastic. Really kindly lent me his O3 to make this a colour image as I have not got a full set of filters yet. I combined these two using Trevor from Astro Backyard's latest astrophotography image processing guide on his YouTube channel. Please also go and check that out, it was very, very useful. That got me here. I combined both channels and got an image that looked a little bit like this. I have made some tweaks, but the colours were very much the same. This can also be known as a bi colour image, so bi is in two and HA and O3, so two filters went into the making of this photo and I fell in love with the pastel look. I absolutely did. I'm a sucker for pastel palettes. I really, really love them. And this is when something I feel very strongly about in astrophotography comes in, is that astrophotography image processing is subjective. You can decide what you do to your images. I myself am not stating that any of these are scientifically accurate whatsoever. It's just for the pleasure of processing, learning new things and gaining a really pretty photo at the end of it. So this is not for scientific research at all. This is just for astrophotography, really. There was also another colour combination I made. I'm not 100% happy with the colours, but I'm going to show you how we can change that today. I'd like to take this opportunity to say a huge thank you and give a shout out to Jess. Jess from Little Red Dwarf over on Instagram. She taught me, really kindly taught me this processing technique and her wizardry knowledge that I'm just about to show you. I am by no means the best at it. I really have very little idea of what I'm doing. So we're gonna come up to script utilities and go into color mask. And this is going to show us all the different colors that are coming up in this photo. We can set the mask blur to three and I'm going to select red. And that means that the red that it's picking up in this photo, it's going to create a mask of that. And we're going to be able to add that mask onto this photo and only tweak the red. Nothing else is going to move from where it's standing at the moment. So we can click OK and PixInsight is going to chug along and it's going to create this mask for us and here we are and it is looking a little bit blocky and if you do this before you tweak anything else in your photo say straight after colour combination actually you're not going to get it as blocky looking as this I've just edited this prior and I shouldn't have <laughs> so make sure your photo is basically at a raw stage so I'm going to just run a really quick convolution so that it can sort of smooth out those edges and then add this 
drag it along to this here minimize that and minimize this never delete tabs because you never know when you're going to need them again and if i come up to mask and show mask you can just start to see the cygnus wall coming through and that is the red that is the red that's coming through in this mask that's going to be edited so if we untick show mask i'm going to come across to curves transformation I'm not gonna lie guys, this is one of my favorite parts of image processing coming up. I really, really enjoy this bit. And I'm going to basically mess about with these channels and see what color combination I can come up with. So we're gonna come into red and as I increase it, you can see that it's only affecting this part of the photo. And that's such a powerful processing technique to be able to edit one part while not affecting another part of an image. I am not actually going to increase the reds though, but I am going to muck around a bit and see what I can do and see what I can come up with. Then once we want to apply this, we can click the square and it's going to be applied to this main image. And now I want to edit the color of the equivalent to the O3 channel. So we can just come up and do the same. We can go to process. Oh, sorry. We need to take we need to take this mask off first and um, we script utilities and color mask. Now this is the final result that we've ended up with. It is not that different from the original but it's just the prospect that I kind of wanted to show you guys and how it kind of gives you freedom within your processing and I really do enjoy it like I'm having so much fun doing it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching today. It was a really fun one to make and I'm having such a blast on my monochrome journey, especially being able to bring out my creative side and combine different colour channels freely, each one having such clean data in it. I really like the idea of creating different colour palettes and experimenting with astrophotography that way. I just find it so fun and I'm having so much fun editing right now. Stay safe out there guys and I hope you're enjoying the clear skies where you are whenever you can. <laughs> <laughs>